The next young gentleman coming to the stage, make him welcome, uh, Daniel Thompson. Australian legend. <laughs> you guys, that guy's knighted over there. <sighs> I had a flat tire. Yeah. And the little signal came on this morning, and I was like, I just went to discount last week. Fuck off. You know, finicky. Finicky Hyundai. No, it was in dire need. I had a full flat tire. Just one of those moments where you're like, fuck! Oh, okay, life goes on. <laughs> I'll just pile more money onto my credit card. I was laid off. And yeah, I don't want to bring down the mood, but it's okay. It hit me like a ton of bricks, but I really feel like I did what I could. I got back up on my feet. I really hit the ground running uh, right for my bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Grabbed an eighth of perspective on my way home, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Picked up a new strain, too, called You Have No Real Skills. <laughs> that one's heavy, yeah. That one really uh, lays you on the couch for a few weeks. That one's a hard one. Hard one to swallow. The worst part about me getting laid off this time was my first time ever. I'm 28 years old, so I'm like, I think that's pretty good. Can anybody beat me like you've never been laid off ever? All right, cool. So I'm going to take that one. That's my win. The worst part is they brought me to a bar to do it, like down on the corner. I was like, nice, happy hour. It's three. <laughs> they were drunk, and they sacked me right as I got my deep fried cheese curds. I didn't know how to feel. I was like, cheese curds? No. This is a happy meal. Then they told me, you're not fired. You're laid off. You're laid off. <laughs> shush, 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 you're laid off, it's okay. That's such bullshit. That's the like, yeah, we broke up, but we're like, we're still friends. We really care about each other. A oh, firings. No, I want like a, get the fuck out of this office! Back up your books and get out of here! Blah, blah, blah. I want that. No, I have to walk back to the office to leave the laptop like I'm, I just got a rose on The Bachelor, you know? Like, <laughs> it's okay, I don't even love it anyway. <sighs> No fear. Is there a baby over there? This is not appropriate. I don't want to expose them to this kind of plight. You lay off. It's, it's not, it's, we just can't pay for you anymore. We just can't pay you anymore. That's what they said. And I was like, well, I can't pay for these cheese curds, so that makes two of us. Like, <laughs> we're splitting this, and you're taking all of it. I don't know what I'm saying. I just got laid off. <sighs> I got laid off on a Friday. And I don't, listen, I don't want to be cocky or anything, but I was like, I'll snag a new career by Monday. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this smile. I'll work my way. I'll just walk into an office and be like, this is my desk. <laughs> It's been 41 Mondays. <laughs> Gosh darn it, folks, you know, when it's almost been a year since you've been unemployed and you're like still trying to get a job, you start to think, maybe I wasn't laid off because I was the best and they were all super jealous. <laughs> no, that's gotta be what it was, I was so good. My big issue was I asked too many questions. And guilty as charged, red-handed. I'm a curious fellow. I'm sorry. I asked a lot of questions. I didn't realize it was a corporate no-no. But sue me. I thought these were, you know, kind of basic questions, you know? Things like, who's going to train me? <laughs> uh, what is it that we do here? Why are you all panicking? You know. <laughs> hey, you're run-of-the-mill corporate. Where's the synergy? Guys! Win-win! <laughs> Come on, let's do it! So I was sad, so I got laid off. I was calling people. And one of my friends, she goes, Dan, pick yourself up. This is your time, all right? It's not unemployment, it's what? Fun employment, yeah, this was my time. 
do something new. I rode a horse. <laughs> Have you guys ridden a horse before? No, I thought so. <laughs> Never ridden a horse before. I've lived in Arizona my whole life. I didn't wait for Monday. I called the next day, Saturday, and I said, hello, I've never ridden a horse before, and the woman on the other side, I, at first I thought it was a horse, because she went, no, 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 no. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> Very excited. Hair are down to here. I, I'm not, I don't get it, but, you know, to each their own, right, guys? <laughs> a lot of this hair movement. <laughs> oh, man, she had four legs. It was crazy. I've never been to a barn before, but, hey. <laughs> so I tell her, I just got laid off, I'm really sad, this is what I'm doing, I'm riding a horse for the first time. And she's like, okay, well you talk with your legs, and I'm not talking about the bedroom. She's a real comedian. <laughs> so I get up on the horse, and she says, hey, really though, this is giving me a great experience. It's a beautiful animal, it has a high level of intelligence, and it knows what to do. It's very empathetic, and I you know, I think you and Nadia have a real connection. I cried. <laughs> And she said before I left, she's like, you're gonna feel so much different about this whole thing when you come back. And I went off this beautiful ride, it was you know, spring morning, and she was right, she was absolutely right. Because once I got off that horse, I actually felt like I got fucked, you know? <laughs> it's like I was right back in that bar and chain, like, ah, thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> Yo, there it is, guys. Took you through that. This guy got laid off. He wrote that for you. My mom said, I love you and you're handsome. I don't need any more validation. That was all for you tonight. I'm leaving it up here on this stage. And I know the next guy is going to do the same for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the lineup is just stacked with legends tonight. This next gentleman, he's got a name that's going to make you say, I know him. Where am I seeing? Was it with Sinatra? Was it at the Sands? This guy's got stories to tell, and I'm so glad he's here to tell them. Please welcome to the stage, Johnny Moss. I love this lighting. Can't see anybody. 